This is called How to Continue Learning English Using NPR, National Public Radio. What happens is you go to this wonderful website, npr.org, O-R-G, and then you're going to scroll down. Let's see what we see down here. Aha! Uh -huh, there it is on the side. Do you see this little circle here? It says, This I Believe. Let's see if we can get closer. There we go. This I believe. You're wanting to click there so then we can continue our learning. This will take us to more than 100 topics. People who have made statements. People who have, each of these people have said something that they found interesting. So let's see if we can look at this. What's this say? Make a statement. Many people have made a statement. There's more than one life to live. The one I particularly like is something that said more essays. You click down here and we'll actually be able to see some famous people and not so famous people. They have lots and lots. Look at all of these here. This guy has a really funny one. He says, finding prosperity by feeding monkeys. I thought that was really wonderful. So we click and it goes in. Now here's the best part for learning English. I know many students like to listen to know the pronunciation. And here are the words. So if you click here, you can then listen to the words. Maybe we can try this. Let's see what happens. It starts switching over to your audio player. In my case, I happen to use um, Windows Media. And once it has downloaded, then it should start right here. I could say that I believe in America because it rewarded my family's hard work. Let's see, over here you have to choose one of the audio listening devices and here it comes now. I selected Windows Media Player. Remember that you have in the corner the volume. You also have, you can stop at any time. This is all things considered. I'm Robert Siegel. And I'm Michelle Norris. I believe uh -huh. in the power of love. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe in the importance. I believe that everyone I believe in people. Love. This I believe. Okay. In our Monday series, This I Believe, we've been inviting you to send us your own personal credos, and we've received over 7,300 so far. 7,000? Harold Taw. He's an attorney from Seattle and the son of Burmese immigrants. Here's our series curator, independent producer, Jay Allison. In the essays you've sent us, we have encountered all manner of beliefs. Belief in the humble gifts of life, or in the exalted ones. Belief in country, God, family, self. We've learned of your belief in batter bone in the Burmese jungle. See? You predicted that my birth would bring great pride. You don't have to listen to that introduction. The introduction is always given where they explain. But I jumped ahead. Watch. See, this was back where it was. You've encountered all blah, blah, blah. Beliefs. He's just talking, talking. So there's an introduction. I can move forward. I could say that I believe in holding on to rituals and traditions. See? Because they helped us. <clears throat> That's where he's starting right here. Let's see if we can get that again. ...of life, or in the exalted ones... Belief in country, God, family, self. We've learned of your belief in batteries, sleep, or tent camping. But we have encountered only one belief, like the one you're about to hear, and we don't expect to receive another like it. Here is Harold Taw with his essay for this, I believe. I could say that I believe in America because it rewarded my family's hard work to overcome poverty. I could say that I believe in holding on to rituals and traditions because they helped us flourish in a new country. But these concepts are more concretely expressed 